Okay, I'm going to go over uh, job priorities in this uh, tutorial video for the AS400, iSeries, and IBM i. When you go and look at your active jobs running on the system using uh, WRK ACTJOB, the work with active jobs command, there is a, um, a priority that goes along with each job and it just lets the system prioritize which jobs are more important over other jobs um, and kind of gives them um, priority so to speak to resources over the other jobs and when you are in the work with active jobs screen if you press F11 you can see here we have this priority field now subsystems are zero you can see that here uh, subsystems don't have a priority because they're not actually running they're just um, areas where jobs run. The actual jobs themselves have priorities. Now, uh, what you will find is, let me F11 here a couple times to bring us back. There we go. What you will find is typically batch jobs will run um, at a priority of 50 and interactive jobs like this one right here which is this sign on okay we'll usually have uh, out of the box they'll run at a, at a priority of 20 so um, on older systems you didn't want to mess around with batch priorities too much just because um, the systems were slow and the resources were kind of constrained um, modern boxes it's not quite so bad to um, lower priorities down to say like a priority 20 on a batch job uh, but uh, if you have a batch job that uh, maybe is a long-running job and you want to allocate some more resources to it, one way you can do that is by adjusting the priority. Um, and you can do that without, say, adjusting the time slice or something like that um, to help give it a little more preference over other jobs that run at the same priority. So the way it works is priorities run from 1 to 99. Uh, the lower the priority number is the more priority a job gets. 99 being the lowest priority. So if I want to change a priority for a job, I just put option 2 on the job and press enter. And then right here we have the run priority field. So in this job, um, this interactive job, let's say I'm going to bump it up to priority 25, which means that it will run at a lower priority than, say, another interactive job. Go ahead and press enter. And then if I F5 on the screen, we'll see this priority change. So there we go. Now this job runs at a priority 25. That's just kind of a way you can allocate or let the system give that job a little more preference over other jobs or less preference um, over other jobs. It's not um, a way to let a system take all the resource or a job take all the resources. You'd have to do that with like time slice and, and more memory management um, intensive techniques. Uh, but this is just one way that you can kind of maybe give a job a little bump up versus other jobs a little boost. Another way that you can do that, uh, change the priorities. If you take a 2 and you do on the command line, you put in J-O-B, P-T-Y, and then the new priority. Let's move it back to, say, 20 for this job. In uh, parentheses and press Enter. I'm sorry, not job priority, run priority. R-U-N-P-T-Y. Job priority is a different thing. And press enter. And now if I F5, it'll refresh that screen. And now we can see the job priority is back to uh, where it started from. So again, interactive jobs by default, unless you make any changes, run at a priority of 20, uh, which is a higher priority than, say, jobs that go into QBatch, which by default, unless uh, something has been changed with the system configuration, run at a priority of 50, which is good because you don't usually want um, your batch jobs conflicting with your interactive jobs. People entering on the screen, you want it to not be interrupted or slowed down. Um, so that's why that is. So that's, uh, again, uh, run priorities for jobs um, and just kind of how you can maybe help put um, a long-running batch job that you maybe want to quicken a little bit um, without messing with the time slice and things like that.